Woodhill Country Club played host to the first major of the year and second tour championship since the inception of Duckhook Golfers. The select field of 20 included all four of the season's major winners and qualifiers from the three qualifying events which took place at Danefern, Krugersdorp and Kyalami Country Club. The winner's prize being a weekend away at Royal Tonga Safari Lodge for four couples meant along with pride and the title, there was everything to play for. Andy's got a chance, but I think it's going to be a low handicapper, um, Jason Ivans or Nick, someone with a low handicap winning today. First off on the par 4 first, Frenchman Kalitz, Jaku Klitter, Smitty Stjernkamp, and Mario Lequeva. Right now. On to the second four ball. Happy birthday, Dre. Thank you, it looks one. like you're taking a, a very calm approach to this one. Uh, I was going to start off calm. And then from there, we do not know what's going to happen. Teeing off first, oh, birthday one. boy yeah. Andre Reichel. Vickers Mankus. Chris Ogden and defending champion Andrew Nielsen. But I think uh, Andy's going to win today. <laughs> <laughs> Next off on the first, Jason Ivans. Players Championship champion Rudolf van der Berg, our very own lefty Andrew Lester and Werner Pretorius. The fourth group included Masters champion Andre Kotze, Fahad Karim, I said right to the tree. Sean Salmon, oh. and Gavin Reload Carter. Yep. Last off were some of the top qualifiers for the Tour Championship. And how excited are you to play in this major? Oh, I'm super excited. It's my first time doing it, so I'm super excited. I just hope uh, I'll be ex as excited at the end of the round as I am now. I am so motivated. You can ask my wife. I got up this morning and I said to her, I'm coming home this evening with a shield and a nice jug full of all kinds of drinks and we'll have a lecker party. Major rookies, Neil Jane and Nick Buerta. Nisra Kasim and current league leader Ian Tabrugger. The opening hole saw three players streak out ahead of the field to try to enforce an early mark of intent on the day. Ian Tabrugger took the early lead after starting with a par on the par 4 first hole, followed by a birdie on the 165 meter par 3 second. Seeing a three-way tie with Andrew Nielsen, reigning tour champion, and Sean Salmon, carding three consecutive pars. Yes. and you teeth it every single time. A lovely 10 on whatever this hole was, a stroke 14. Uh, it went well up until the last hole. I was on minus two, double bogey on the last, brings me back to even. So a couple of birdies will be needed to bring it back. Andrew Nielsen for the first time showed glimpses of being human, carding two unwelcome bogeys on the fifth and sixth. And to add to his woes with a triple bogey six on the par three seventh. Oh, no, life. not now. Go away. <laughs> How about you just uh, pick a bad nice. time? Play <laughs> nice, Crystal. Nice. Play nice. Oh. Vickers, the only reason I come to Duck Hook is to see what outfit you have next. Very nice. Oh, oh I'm not underpants. No? Okay, just checking. How's your round? Going so far. Round? Going it could so have been far. better. Yes. That's it. <laughs> oh, Could have been better. Is a winner going to come from this four ball? I'm hoping so. Really am hoping yes. so. Uh, a 
besides the eight on this, the stroke one. Not bad, not bad. Level four there, other than that. Oh no, terrible. The sooner we get off, the better. How's your round going? Going horribly, <laughs> horribly. Stupid, eco-friendly, rough crap. Cost me a shot. Sean, you had a great start. How's it going now? Um, I actually don't know. <laughs> I'm a bit confused on the course. <laughs> I don't know where I'm <laughs> aiming. <so. laughs> The picturesque par 3 7 saw the eventual downfall of the Tour Championship leaders Ian and Sean, both making bogeys to drop them back to the chasing field. The par 3 proved to be the turning point for Andre Reichel, as he made par that set him off on a run, which would see him make two more pars on the par for 8th and 9th. So, Andre Reichel, to our last scoring, has just shot 4 over par on the front nine in very, very tough conditions. I may have to have a word with his playing partners. Okay, let's get a quick update. What's happening now? Dre is leading unbelievably. Reichel grabbed the halfway lead by two strokes from Ian. In third position, three shots back, was Neil Jane, followed by a three-way tie for fourth between Andrew Nielsen, Sean Salmon and Francho Kalitz. After the turn, Neil Jane started with vigour, making birdie par par on the 10th, 11th and 12th Be that one. Pulling within one stroke of the leader. And Fats is now minus three, but he could have been minus ten if he just stopped messing around. You can say five. Friend. <laughs> okay, um, time to concentrate now and get off the clippies. The players lower down the leaderboard rallied for position in the challenging medal format. Eventual third place finisher Francois Kalitz was the first to finish and hold the clubhouse lead, but that would be short lived. With Andre playing off a 17 handicap and Neil off a 5 handicap, there was no room for error on the last three holes. It came down to this putt on the par 4 18th to secure the clubhouse lead. Reichel carded a career best 84, an incredible five shots under his handicap. Before Andre could know his fate, the rest of the field completed their rounds waiting for the final four ball. You might still come last, you might still come last. Oh, the way you went. Lekker, Carter. Masters champion, how did it go today? Uh, it was a long day, tough day. The only player who could stand in Andre's way was Neil Jane, who missed out on par to enforce a tie to win on a stroke one comeback. It took us through the last chip and putt that you had to do. After a hard fought and competitive Tour Championship, the 2014 honours and title goes to Andre Reichel, winning by one stroke. Thank <laughs> you.